good evening friends we are just going to start the webinar soon rajesh can you hear me yeah yeah we can hear you okay good let me also stream it to the facebook so that people can join us so just another 2 minutes we are going to start i will share my screen Rajesh, you can see my screen as well. Yes, yes I can see. Yes, I can see. Okay, very good. So you guys can see screen as well, and we will start in just another one minute. By the time the people join us, I welcome everyone who's in the webinar. Thanks a lot. Thank you very very much. Uh, you guys are. Uh, you know, in such a pandemic situation, you guys are always connected to us. In the last four webinars, what four to six webinars, what Cohesio has done on the different technology platform, the response was overwhelming, overwhelming. And uh, the inquiries what we got uh, post the webinars was so motivating for us as well. So we have thought that we were missing these webinars. We should do it. Uh, once at least every month on the new technologies which we guys are in. <coughs> so without wasting time, uh, we'll go on a uh, few slides on Cohesive. So as you guys know that Cohesive is uh, primarily focusing on voice over IP platform and uh, few technology partners with whom we work are Cyberdata, Grandstream, EPG, DGM, Milesite and Vitec. In the last uh, couple of weeks, we have done a lot of webinars on Grandstream, uh, EPG, Milesite, and Vitec. Today, our focus would be on Cyberdata because this is one product which has created a lot of interest in last year. And seeing this stupid uh, COVID-19, the priority of selling this product has increased as per my perception. And uh, there are a lot of use cases which we will discuss here in this presentation in next 45 minutes to one hour, where you guys will feel excited. And the beauty is that uh, you can give value additions to your customers. As you all know, because of your efforts and our team, few awards have come in. Uh, we are not sitting on our laurels. A lot of things we need to work hard. And uh, this year, subsequently, we have to work more hard. And everyone who's there in this webinar understands this. Uh, so thank you very much for all the efforts you guys have and the team you guys, you know, you are there with us for thick and thin days. Any segment, as I always tell whenever we webinar, we start, you know, don't worry on the segmentation, which industry segment you are trying to pitch in. Hotels, enterprise, residentials. We have created presentations accordingly to it. We also understand very, very well that what type of products which can be pitched into which industry. So today, this presentation will also talk about that. We have specifically made some slides uh, meant for the different industries and segments. The focus would be cyber data. Uh, uh, primarily today, which would be more on IP paging and SIP notifications. As a company, we have uh, got a decent presence in South Asia to our partners, and we have offices in India to support our partners as well as work with our partners and go to the end customer to convince them that uh, the said partner or the right product is a perfect choice and we help them for the full sales management. So we are there always with you standing next to it for helping you in pitching in our products and solutions and creating a value advantage not only for you, me, but everyone who is there in this chain. As you all know, any portfolio we have uh, cohesive does is all SIP enabled, is on a converged platform. Either it is a door intercoms or a POE switches or a paging system, which we would be focusing today. Our cameras are SIP enabled. So we, we generally give a total converged platforms. So this slide is primarily that slide which says that, hey, customer, you have you are standing with a company who is giving you a converged platform, so your investment doesn't go dead either today, tomorrow, or day after tomorrow. We are there to help you and upscale you for all applications and technologies. As you know, this is a basic brief on the portfolio what we have from a basic IP phone till call center applications, network switches, 
networking access points, IP public address systems, which we're going to talk today, ATAs, PBXs, video conferencing, door intercoms, everything is tip enabled. We, we generally don't sell uh, brands, we sell solutions. So all those six, seven brands, what we talk about, we, you will always find our presentations and our pitching to the customer would be more of a solution centric than specific to a brand centric. Yes. Interest, the point of discussions today for the next 45 minutes would be Sabarana. A very, very innovative technology oriented company, Monterey, California, United States of America, country of origin, US. The CEO Phil, he himself is an engineer and always involved in every development this company does. The beauty of this guy and his team is that they never develop a product and find a solution. They find a problem and develop a solution, develop a product. That's, that's the best thing of any, any good company is that. Find a problem, create a product around that problem, and pass it on as solutions to the end customer. That's what cyber data is all about. And Cohesive signed up with cyber data because that's what vision matches. And if any two companies' vision matches, and our partners who are there in the webinar, you will see that you know we all work in one tandem circle with the same vision. Coming to one single slide, what cyber data has its in portfolio. We may not cover everything today in this 45 minutes, but we will definitely focus on the products which has got a huge demand and are actually the uh, products which people definitely knock the door and take it from us. SIP industrial phones, SIP notifications, adapters, door intercoms, SIP paging systems, and SIP access controls. So if you will see cyber data portfolio has been divided into six categories, which is industrial phones, which is notifications, which are paging adapters, which are paging speakers, door intercoms and access controls. The beauty of all these products, if you will see in the slide, is SIP as well as we have written in Formacast. You will see a lot of in Formacast words which you will see in the coming slides and this slide. Informacast is a proprietary technology which Cisco uses uh, for their platforms as what SIP RFC 3261 use a multicast. So cyber data has a full portfolio for Cisco. We have executed a lot of projects with Cisco uh, communication manager and cyber data public address systems and SIP adapters connected to Cisco communication manager. Why I'm telling you? Because you will find a lot of government and defense installations which are sitting on Cisco. Uh, we have recently executed few projects where the platform was Cisco and they wanted something which can talk to Cisco platform. Okay. We not only talk on the Infor Informacast, we also talk of talk in the terms of SRTB, which is a survival redundancy uh, products. So all our products like SIP notifications are also SRTP enabled. Okay. Coming to the industrial voice over IP phones, uh, we have divided into four different categories right now. One is a weather proof. The other is a vandal resistance we keep at. Then we have SIP armored ring down and the fourth one is emergency keypad without a cradle. This is a physically challenged for blind people. They are braille compliant. And all these phones specifically are made for outdoor environment, harsh environment, where you have issues in terms of ruggedness, where you have issues in terms of weather proof and stability where you want to install the products in outdoor environment, harsh environment, these are the right choices. So we have different products. You can speak to our sales team, depending on the requirement, we can definitely pitch in you the right category. As I said and explained to you, we have installed these industrial phones and where it can be used. They will be primarily used in metros, shipping ports, Tunnels, 
campuses, outdoor campuses, corporates, big giants, oil rigs, you know, cement factories, national thermal power corporations, hydropower plants, dock sites. These are all environment where you guys, they, these guys look forward for an industrial phones. They want something which can be an outdoor and it is ruggedized. It can work with the environment which is very harsh environment. It can work with uh, low manufacturing environments. And this is cyber data is, is very, very strong in that. And I have not seen any good product which works on industrial phones with a country of origin from a US brand, any other than cyber data. We got a decent market share. Yes, this does not come cheap, but it is a very niche segment. People ask for it and uh, we have picked up some decent deals on that. Very, very interesting and very important point. Cyber data paging categories have divided into two parts. If you will see on the left side, I have written SIP and on the right side, we have written InformaCast. The SIP is an open SIP, which is RFC 3261. So it can be PBX and InformaCast is specifically for Cisco. So we, in terms of servers and adapters category, we have a SIP server of cyber data. What does this SIP server do? I will explain you into a next slide. Then we have SIP adapters, which is single port and four port. And we also have Informa case cast based paging adapter, which means it can get compliant to the Cisco communication manager. So all these products we're going to speak in next 10, 15 minutes and you will find it quite interesting. SIP paging server, it's a small box. This is the heart of cyber data paging system. Generally, in a normal paging environment, you would have seen an amplifier, you will see a low voltage, 100 volt wire, electrical wire flowing around, and then you have speakers. And you have one zone or two zone, depending on the amplifier you are pitching. The beauty of this total paging device is what we are talking about is on PoE. TCP, IP, SIP enabled. You don't have to lay down any electrical cable, first of all. And this small box has 100 zones built in into this box. So what I want to say that you can have 100 zones in any campus, in any premise where you are putting a public address system solution. It has 25 stored messages because this is SIP enabled. It gets connected to any PBX, which is compliant on RFC 3261. From the portfolio of Cohesive, you can you have EPG, you have Grand Stream, you have EASTAR, and interoperability of cyber data with all good PBXs are already done. I will run a small, small video that you guys can see what this server does for 50 seconds, not more than that. The Cyber Data SIP paging server with Bell Scheduler lets you, through a single SIP phone connection, Create up to 100 multicast zones for paging through both your voice over IP network and your legacy analog overhead paging systems. Our SIP paging server now includes a bell scheduler with 25 individual bells and 25 user stored messages that can send scheduled notifications to different multicast zones and legacy analog systems throughout your school, hospital, or manufacturing facility. In a typical installation, the SIP paging server is added to your PoE switch as a SIP. You can then build your zones to include desktop phones, cyber data SIP paging endpoints and intercoms, and any analog amplifiers, horns, and speakers already on your system. The SIP paging server 
also has two RCA. Okay. Sorry, uh, this is all what I wanted to show you on the video. We'll go back to the slide. Rajesh, you can hear us? Yes, sir. Okay, good. So, uh, now what this server does, it is connected purely on a, on a LAN environment. Now, if you see this schematic, which was trying to uh, show you on the video where I paused it. Now, this is a normal switch, a LAN switch. Okay. In our case, if you want to give QoS and voice over IP, we can talk about Vitex switch here. So, let's say this is a Vitex VoIP switch. It is connected. Your SIP paging server is connected on the switch. Your PBX of ESTAR, Grand Stream, or EPG is connected here on the PBX on the switch. And all your endpoints are connected on this. Your basic music source is connected to the servers. And this cyber data server also has a line in port which goes line out port which goes to the line in of an amplifier. So if there is a customer who has an analog amplifier with analog speakers, that can be also converted to SIP protocol through this server. So if you see this full diagram, this is what we are talking of a converged platform. We can through this server we can have 100 zones. Through this server, we can have 25 predefined stored messages. Through this server, I can I can announce a message on a SIP protocol or I can announce a message on a multicast protocols. So if an extension wants to do an announcement on speaker 201 or 202, he can pick up the phone, dial that specific extension and can announce. So it is not only zones wise announcements, I can do specific extension wise announcements. I can have a predefined stored message. I can do scheduling. I can do priority. The server has an excellent feature called priority. For an example, it has defined 10 levels of priorities. For an, uh, let's take an example. Uh, Rajesh or Rishi is a vice president of the company and uh, Deepak is the CEO of a company. Now, Rajesh and Deepak are doing an announcement, but now Deepak wants to intervene and do a much more important announcement on the same zone where the announcements are happening through cyber data server. Deepak, because his extension is sitting on the top priority, when press the zone button, that specific voice of Rishi and Rajesh goes in a passive mode, goes in a uh, back, back, uh, background mode, and Deepak voice comes up as a live stream. So we do schedulings. You want to do scheduling that morning, 9 o'clock, that specific announcement should happen. It is pre-recorded. No human intervention is required, and everything. So just think about an example, a uh, story where you have you uh, you know the CEO is sitting in London, and they, he wants to do a uh, town hall talk to the employees. He can just open his laptop, open his Linkus soft extension or Grand Stream soft extension, dial to the PBX, reach to the extension, and do the announcement. Okay. Now, this is what the beauty of IP paging is all about. Okay, I again, uh, I'm putting this slide back so that you just get to know that we spoke about the servers and now what is an adapter and how does this adapter work? We're going to talk about that. So, we had seen a lot of uh, cases when we go, you know, our people uh, like Siddharth, Harisha, or Kishore when they go to the market and they they generally you will go to the brown uh, opportunity where they already have amplifiers like five star hotels or hospitals. They don't want to remove those electrical wiring and analog amplifiers. They come back to us and they say, sir, uh, they are very much interested in making it IP, but they don't want to uh, throw the wires out or peel off the floor, you know, uh, your uh, uh, wiring, which they have electrical wiring. And play around with the you know the property uh, interiors. They they have invested so much. The five star hotels have invested so much that they don't want to lay down the network again. So we have a product which is called paging adapter. And we in the paging adapter we have single port and four port. So the paging adapter converts the standard analog amplifiers which are connected to the analog speakers to a SIP enabled. Now what does it do? The line out of this adapter goes to the line in of analog amplifiers okay 
and these analog amplifiers gets connected to the standard their own speakers okay because this stands support SIP and informa cast so it means this adapter can talk to cisco pbx also and this adapter can talk to any grand sim ear ear star epg sangoma 3cx you name the product which supports the rfc 3261 it can work with it so the same product has made an opportunity which was a brown opportunity where the customer wanted to go for a technology where he wanted to uh, make the announcement zones wise where he wanted the announcements to be done from the remote level to be on ip but does not want to reinvest on wiring does not want to reinvest on the interiors does not want to play around with peeling of the wire and putting new cables we have adapters available with us which can do all this okay we have uh, use cases which we will discuss for some big schools in indore who did the same thing some big manufacturing units as well some customer says that uh, i have four amplifiers or three amplifiers and i don't want to invest too much on uh, buying four adapters do you have a solution where from the same adapter i can connect to the four amplifiers and i can create zones also without buying a sip server okay i don't want to buy a cyber data sip server i don't want to invest on the pbx i am looking for a pure paging solution where i am i have three four amplifiers i want to connect it with the adapter i want to convert it into sip protocol and that adapter itself has a zone control so guys here we have an answer to it we have a sip paging zone controller with four port audio out okay with a four port audio out gets connected to the four different amplifiers you require a pbx or you don't need a pbx you have a direct ip phone connected onto the switch you can call up this uh, equipment there will be an ivr which will say welcome to those paging zones and once you come to the paging zones you can create different paging 15 or 16 paging zones on this equipment itself on specific dtmf let's say if he presses one let's say adapter one and two will run if he presses two adapter one will run if he presses three all the three adapters run. so you can create permutation and combinations based on the zones it wants okay uh, there is no limitation of distances there is no limitation of cabling a lot of people ask uh, what is the advantage see you guys are sitting on tcp ip on a land no distance limitation okay you have a 20 floor building uh, you have in london all those three buildings are connected on the same paging environment because you guys are sitting on a tcp ip on a lan or a van environment okay or uh, you are sitting on an internet cloud job done just a small use case i thought it would be more uh, interesting to you uh, uh, that uh, how uh, our adapters can help you know uh, to the different uh, brown opportunities where you have different analog amplifiers installed in different buildings or different floors and can i play around with it so i just created a small diagram for you guys so let's say let's talk of a company called infosys and someone in bangalore is trying to pitch in so uh, they have one building in core mangalam and the other building in uh, whitefield okay now let's say they have two buildings two different floor either they are on a lan if they are not on a lan they it can be a standalone buildings as well with their own mpls networks okay or they have their own uh, vpn cloud or their own lease lines internet lease lines okay simple they have their own analog amplifiers they are connected to the respective adapters what we have and this server can create 100 zones and can talk to all these adapters and do announcement if someone comes and asks me what is the output of the speaker output of the speaker i am not managing the output of the speaker has been managed by analog amplifier which he already has i am just giving a line input and converting a tcp ip signal to a line output which is an rca okay the beauty of this is that now the guy who is sitting somewhere in the london of infosys uh, ceo let's say narayan murthy is sitting somewhere in the world corner or is sunny sitting and he wants to do announcement in building 2 or say good morning he can do it from a soft phone on his laptop connected to the server or connected to the pbx okay now these are the, the use cases so people have to put in brains a lot of schools have come with this okay uh, you the schools have buildings where they have an admin building they have a, uh, a kindergarten building and then they have a middle school and a senior school building with different amplifiers but they don't have any connectivity okay in case of an emergency so these guys have come back to us 
and we have had a lot of schools on this. Okay, till now we spoke about Cyber Data SIP server, which was the heart of the solution. Okay, then we spoke about the Cyber Data adapters, which helped us converting analog amplifiers, which a customer already has, 100 volt low voltage wiring, which has been already done, to convert to TCP IP, to give the benefit to the customer, to have a control of phasing system from remote end and create 100 zones, okay, and can do announcement from anywhere in the world. Create priorities and schedules, have pre-recorded messages which can be announced to the analog amplifiers because all our adapters also has predefined message storage. Now, let's talk of a green opportunity, you know, new campus coming up. We have just picked up uh, two big orders in Hyderabad with 180 multicast speakers, okay. Now, that, that's a, some big board which is coming up in Hyderabad. Okay, now if you see this slide, I have divided this slide into three parts SIP, multicast, and InformaCast. SIP, we all understand, uh, is a standard open SIP protocol. Okay, multicast is also open. So, any phone or any PBX which supports multicast, transmit, this multicast speaker can work with it. InformaCast is specific to Cisco. We have Talkback speakers also, very important and good speakers. This sells a lot, okay. Uh, talkback speakers are meant specifically for airports, public places, hospitals, schools, okay. I will show you a use case where uh, we have installed this in a school where this speaker is on the ceiling and this talkback button is on the wall. So, if there is an emergency, the school, there is someone, some student who have fall down or there is a you know, they, there is some problem in the class which needs to be informed. He can pick, press this bell and this speaker will initiate a phone call. We'll discuss about this two minutes now. I don't want to jump on that slide specifically. Yes, these products are not cheap uh, compared to other brands. But when you see the total cost of ownership, removing the electrical wiring, removing the power points which are required, removing the analog amplifiers, because these all speakers, which we am showing you on the slide, has a built-in amplifier built-in in the speaker. We have speakers which are outdoor weatherproof speakers. I will name some customers at the end of the slide and you will be zapped to know that today the critical defense uh, of India to smart fencing is sitting on Cyber data weatherproof public address systems. Okay. So we will discuss this at the later point. Multicast speakers are, we came down around four, six months back because people were looking for TCP IP speakers. They said we are okay if, if it is not SIP, but we are looking for an economical versions of IP speakers which can talk to your servers and can give up crystal clear audio outputs. So we launched multicast. And InformaCast, as everyone knows, is the one which talks to Cisco. The output of the speakers are beautiful, okay, uh, excellent from 107 dBm. Uh, it supports 802.3 AF, it means PoE and AT, which is PoE plus. So the output in terms of dBm is up to 107 dBm, as well as if you talk in watts, it's around 23 watts. Some people ask me. Uh, how to design that, how many speakers we need. So, I will just take you a small example if I can show you here. Yeah. So, you go to the website of Cyber Data, okay, and you can, you can, you can see there is a calculator here, okay. Now, for example, you want to, you want to cover a 5000 square feet of all, okay. This all perception is in an open area. And let's say the the height of the speaker where you are putting from the uh, ground is around 20 feet, being a open hall like an exhibition center, and you just calculate, and you will see that a 5,000 square feet of an age of speakers. Okay. Now this 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 is different. You just think about a 5,000 square feet of an area. If I have to lay down my electrical wiring, how much wire will go? How much amplifiers we need to install? Then we have to have a, a physical mics to get installed. Then, uh, if we have a physical mic, the announcements can be only done by that respective mic. 
because that is that is the starting point of doing an announcement okay how we are different we will tell you in the next slides because it is sip because it is multicast it is connected to the sip server as i told you it is connected to the pbx because this is a pbx and the server as i explained to you anyone can pick up the phone and dial that specific extension and announce it okay so he just this this sketch is uh, just giving uh, the uh, you know basic idea so it is saying that if i install one outdoor horn speaker uh, with an ambient noise of 17 db uh, so one speaker if installed at a 15 feet high is good enough for football field it is so strong so if i have a pole here which is 15 feet high okay and i put one outdoor weatherproof it is good enough to handle the full football field it is so strong okay coming to now we spoke about uh, sip that cyber data server we spoke about cyber data uh, adapters we spoke about cyber data speakers which were sip which were multicast and which were informacast and now we will speak about pa systems the public address amplifiers some people say that uh, we don't want to install an ip speaker or a sip speaker can you give me a amplifier weather proof amplifiers we are installing this in lot of smart cities uh, let me also tell you we had done a project for kedarnath kedarnath is a pilgrimage in india respected worldwide okay where the kedarnath full uh, way to the kedarnath has been managed by our uh, our uh, outdoor speaker which is this as well as you know our weather proof amplifiers now because it is a weather proof amplifier it gives you now you guys have to think you know where to install an outdoor speaker and where to install an amp amplifier so for an example the customer says that i want a bidirectional speaker now i want a speaker which should be on my left side of the pole as well as on the right side of the pole okay now if i have to install a weather proof sip speaker on both sides and both directions of poles the budget increase of the customer because here he has to putting in double the money but in case of a sip amplifier a loud speaker sip based amplifier it has two nodes to connect speakers okay which are standard analog speakers because the sip capability and the amplifier capability is in this box so this black box is there there inside this weatherproof box okay and we install the standard analog cyber data speakers these are the standard analog cyber data speakers i go back again once okay so now this amplifier gets connected once and one speaker on this side so it covers a better distance it covers bidirectional and then i think if i am not wrong it can go up to 300 feet of electrical wire on both sides to cover a bigger distance of the analog speakers connected to the sip amplifier we have done this specifically did it for exhibition centers where the customer wanted a bidirectional speaker connected on an amplifier and doesn't and never wanted to pay more okay cyberdata also has a ip multicast mic okay so some people have a tendency that he has a network room or has he has a security guard where the announcement should be done from a mic he or she can just press a button and do the announcement okay nevertheless because this is sip because this is multicast the announcement can be done from any ip phone from anywhere in the building just pick up the phone dial that specific zone number job done announcement is over okay these are the different accessories we have i will not waste time on it so we have ceiling mounts we have wall mounts uh uh Uh, you know the accessories where we can fit in these speakers we have conduit base okay so depending on the environment you can pick and choose those accessory and fit into the right speaker and take it ahead okay very very interesting guys this is again a new thing which at least in my experience i have not seen in the competition uh, the same logic goes for the speakers also that is the reason we guys are doing a decent business with cyber data Okay. Now these are the SIP notification lights. Okay. 
Now this comes again into two brackets, in Formacast and SIP. Okay. Uh, remember, it also comes in weatherproof and indoor. Okay. These all are multicolors. Okay. The same light will have different colors, thousands of different colors, which you can define. So for an example, uh, a use case I will talk about in next five minutes. I I am in a habit of jumping things, but just think about that. If these lights are emergency in the building or in the campus or in a prison or in a police station or in a uh, oil rig uh, or in a unfortunately there was a gas leakage which happened in Vizac. you know you can you can switch on these lights from anywhere and create a red alarm which has a bigger wavelength and people can see it because everyone uh, is not a normal person so a lot of such requirements come for physically challenged people or the employees who can't hear so they say that or it's for manufacturing facility it's too much of noise of the machines they don't know what announcements are happening you you go to the exhibition centers when you go and see the stalls you generally there might be big announcements going on but no one puts bloody put uh, focus into it okay then what is that announcement going on but if there's a red glowing led which glows in the campus they people will see to it okay and we all know what red color is and we all know what green color is and remember that single light same box has multiple colors which can be defined based on the code i am pressing so if ashdeen or rishi is pressing uh, server and pressing some code let's say one the light would be red if he dials a sip call the same light will be yellow someone dials something else code it will be silver so different colors from the same lights okay we have both the products it talks with cisco it talks with sip okay I will not put much time into door intercoms. You guys know we have put a lot of time also in other product companies also. So the only difference of cyber data is these are vandal proof, very ruggedized. Video, non-video, we have safe emergency intercoms. We are selling it hot volumes. What is the use case? I will talk. Okay. We also have intercoms. So it means and they are looking for a uh, 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 door intercom to talk with Cisco. We have the product line with us. Okay, we have indoors and outdoors. Very interesting topic. Sorry, uh, it's called fire panel integration. Okay, now how does uh, a normal fire panel works? And now you also understand that you know uh, how are we different. What is cyber data doing so different that people should put in some money and time into such technology? Okay. Now this is this is a normal analog PC system. This is how it works. You have an amplifier, you have electrical speakers, you lay down an electrical wire, low voltage, 100 volt wires, amplifiers, and you have a mic. Someone comes here, do the announcement. Now let's talk of a use case. Do a hypothetical. We are sitting in this 10 floor building. I am sitting on my laptop. There is a fire in my room. There is a short circuit in my room. What I do? Okay. I go to the switchboard if I am an intelligent guy, or then I call up a reception area. The reception area calls the security guard. The security guard goes to the guard area. The guard area picks guard. This mic is this. The guard area picks up the mic, does an amplifier, goes, and the announcements are done. This is how a standard fire panel integration happens. This is the standard announcement way of announcements and remember guys please remember you see the buildings whenever there is a fire panel integration there are hooters okay and in the same building there are there are channel music is different you when you go to the hotels you go to the hospitals you go to the airports the announcement speakers are different and the fire alarm hooters are different because the fire alarm hooters are talking to the fire panel and the speakers which are for the announcements are talking to the amplifier and mic. So there are two parallel audio always going on in all the buildings anywhere in the world. Okay. Remember that. You will see that there is a hooter which acti gets activated because of a fire alarm, because of smoke detector, which is uh, happens. The smoke detectors gives a relay input to the fire panel. The fire panel will give you a T, you know, a sound like T, which comes out from the hooter. And if any, for God's sake, anyone hears that TE, then someone picks up a mic and do the announcement. That's how 
any building today in India is happening. Now let's talk of a situation. What my people will do post this webinar. Now you think about there is the same guy in the room. He sees the fire. He just picks up the IP phone, and if he is authorized, if this guy is authorized, he's an employee of the building. He can do the announcement directly. If he is not authorized, he can call up the maintenance room directly and tell them to announce it. And the maintenance room can do it from the IP phone. And remember, this can be from any floor and from any cabin, from anywhere. Okay. If it is a hotel, it can be done from the housekeeping phone on that specific floor. No hierarchies, no wirings. And remember that the same speaker which is used for the announcements, the same speaker is used for the fire alarm. The next slide will give you more knowledge base on what I am talking about. This is scenario one, this is scenario two, and here we move. Now, this is what we have shown you. Let's say there are 10 floors in this building, 10 floors in this building too. You have, there are actually in fire panel, there are two types of fire panel. One is addressable fire panel, one is a non-addressable fire panel. In an addressable fire panel, you can do the specific announcement in that floor. Now, people, the project what we are doing recently, which I told you in Hyderabad, they came to us, they said they don't want to invest on the uh, hooters which every floor has and they talk to the fire panel of that particular floor. They also said the announcements have to be on a different floors because if there's a fire in building two, floor number six, I don't want this announcement to happen in all floors and create a hey, uh, you know, create a hue and cry over there. The same thing happened in the school also. The kids can topple in the stairs. Okay. So we created, we what we did, we put all the adapters on every floor. All adapters has a relay in which is talking to the fire panel. And the fire panel is talking to the smoke detector. As soon as there is a smoke, the fire panel gets activated. It enables the relay. And this because this paging adapter has a built-in audio message, it gets announced either to an analog amplifier, which is already connected to that building. Okay. And if there is a big, they want to do a bigger announcement, they can activate the relay of the SIP paging server, which is already connected to the all adapters. And the announcement can happen in all the buildings. Now, this was eye-opening for these guys. Because they saved on electrical wiring, they saved on footers, they gave the convenience, they have a single channel of music, they can uh, run the music over there, they can play the music there, they can, they can do emergency announcements, they can do priorities, they can do schedulings, they can do anything in the world. And the best part is everything is converged to the Y platform. And the same SIP server is connected to the PBX also, and the PBX is connected, the PBX is also connected to the phone also. Uh, I believe, uh, just wanted to counter check because I can see a lot of messages. Rajesh, you can hear my voice and you can see the screen. If I am right, hopefully everyone can hear me and everyone can see the slide. Yeah. Okay, my laptop. Screen. Okay, yes. good. Very good. So guys who cannot see it, please restart their uh, IP video talk or just make sure that you have, you have the right internet as a backbone. Okay. So what we spoke a slide back is is i have tried to make it more bigger considering there is you know one floor so see you see the fire alarm what i spoke about the relay is getting connected to the server the server is giving a string to the analog amplifier it is connected to the switch it is connected to the pvx ip phones i can do the announcement directly from ip phone to the speaker i can do a pre-announcement in case of a fire i can do a direct announcement from outside and if there is a security or a network room who is in a habit of doing an announcement from a mic, so we have that product as well. Okay. So this was an eye opening what we did last year in Dubai in a fire exhibition. And uh, seeing this, a lot of opportunities came in. And this gave them not only in terms of value addition, but in terms of money saving as well. Okay. So whatever we spoke about, uh, one of our colleague, Jyotir Medas uh, in Kolkata created a presentation and he told me that I should take this uh, part of my presentation. So uh, he, what he's trying to tell you is how we guys are different from analog. So, you know, uh, in, uh, you know, the distance of speakers, no limits, zones, multiple zones, wiring, we are putting it on a LAN. We don't have to put down electrical. Yes, we are cost effective. We talk of total cost of ownership. And remember, before I forget, all seven data products come with two year warranty. Okay. Okay. All the speakers have built-in amplifiers built-in. Okay, 
all other systems i don't have to repeat again again you guys are clear on what analog speaker system is all about so guys a right product a right time let's move in i am showing you this slide again uh, offset notification which we have already discussed just to take your brain back to uh, notification because now the use cases i'm going to talk about it will include all cyber data port, including sip notifications okay whatever the slides that we have made we have not made it today because of this webinar we have given it to the as i told you always that we are there in all industries so we have given this project in jails in prisons we have already installed one in raipur we are on the verge of doing the installation for a new jail which is coming up in shimla called kanda jail okay now if you see how uh, smart this system is all about okay now let's say this is a prison campus okay what does a prison has it has a uh, you know uh, guard towers which are always on the periphery these are the barricades where the prisoners are there in these are central control rooms this is a full campus okay and then we have these speakers and this sip notification lines we have cameras uh, if some guys have not attended our webinars earlier so we also have sip enabled cameras because our cameras are sip enabled our notifications are sip enabled our speakers are sip enabled everything is sip enabled all this can talk to our pbx and which is connected to the command center so if you are in admin block you are uh, you are in a control room you see some emergency where a prisoner is trying to jump the wall i can create different sip notification lights from the central control room there is a sip camera it sees a motion detection here the sip camera initiates a phone call this guy does not have to see it he sees a motion detection here because the camera is a sip call it initiates the phone call because cyber data has a sip soft client on the pc it can do that specific announcement here on the speakers as well as it can switch on the red alert light in the full prison just think about you know the same thing what we can do it for oil rigs we can do it for depots a uh, lot of people had asked for us warehouses big people had asked us for these solutions okay lot of uh, people had asked us for a solution when uh, a visitor comes to meet their uh, you know prisoners there's too much of chaos and voice because there's a limited time to meet the prisoners and the prisoner senior prison or officers also wants to barge in to the conversation of what are they talking in the visitor room so this total platform is sip platform okay so because this is a sip platform everything is possible okay second use case manufacturing facility okay we have emergency keys we have you know the sip notification lights for example there is too much of uh, voice or noise going on okay let's say this, we have shown you a disclary uh, deepak wanted me specifically to show a disclary i told him to do something on the another you know he said we love beer and because of this you know covid 19 we are not able to drink a lot so please show me at least show me the face of it so now you can see there is a lot of noise which is going around there can be a physically challenged guy who can't hear much okay so we 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 have this sip notification lights we have this outdoor horn speakers and because these are sip enabled so you know manufacturing facilities use that okay we installed one in a in a, in aligarh who was uh, into it to it was a basically a, a meat processed meat, uh, processed meat plant okay and uh, they it was an it, it is an uh, mnc where you know the buffalo or an animal used to go from the one side and a packed uh, you know meat used to come from that side and it was too much of noise and they wanted everything to be uh, ip controlled so they they went for this we uh, without naming the customer we are executing few projects in uh, in western shipping ports as well as some railway stations if you see we have created a shipping ports and railway stations and if you see very specific this server room you know has a cyber data soft phone as well as there is a camera which i explained to you so the camera for an example if there is no vehicle allowed in this specific area 
sees that there is a problem here, gives a SIP call to the server room. The server room do a specific announcement or that announcements can be also predefined if he doesn't want to announce and can dial the zone with the predefix button and that specific announcement can be announced in that particular area. Okay. So we have such use cases, shipping, railways, uh, we prisons, okay, manufacturing facilities. Okay. Now this is hospita hospitality. Okay. Now a lot of hotels came to us. They said they want to play different musics. They want to do different zones announcement. They want to have a different music in a spa. They want to have a different music in gymnasium. They want to have a different music in a restaurant at the same time. Okay. And they want to do different types of controlling which should be centralized. Okay. And uh, uh, we, because it is on an IP and we have different SIP adapters with a different music source in, so we can play the different musics from everywhere. Okay. On the different zones. Okay. And uh, because uh, we have multicast speakers, we have talkback speakers, we have, uh, you know, outdoor weatherproof speakers. So depending on the, uh, uh, you know, area, we can install and implement that specific speaker. Okay. Very important schools. Very, very important. We have installed multiple schools, including, uh, you know, DPS Indoor. Um, Salakwi, uh, multiple schools. Uh, you are uh, uh, DPS Kolkata, then uh, law schools. I think if you go to our website and go to the case studies, go to the education, uh, in that you will find multiple case studies. Now, if you see, you know, uh, I will show you one block. I will just talk about one block, uh, which is more important. Let's say this is a classroom. Okay, now what I spoke about this is a speaker which is on the ceiling, and this is a talkback button which is on the wall. Okay. So if someone presses this, this talk button through the speaker initiates a call and go to the command center. So any type of emergency, same thing we can do it in playing area. You know, if you have a playing area, this is a playing area. You have outdoor horn speakers or if you have an emergency call buttons here, you can press that button. It can go to the command center. Principal offices. It is not only one way communication that this guy is calling up always a command center or principal office. The principal office wants to see what's happening in this classroom. Is the teacher trying to educate the, uh, is, is uh, guiding the students, uh, is, is he educating, is, does he have a knowledge base of the lecture he is giving. The principal office can also call up that speaker and mutely hear because it has a built in mic. It can also call up a camera because our cameras are also SIP enabled. So we are, we have already pitched in uh, multiple schools where the they came up with a requirement that the principal on a single press of a button wants to activate speaker as well as camera at the same time so that it, he can see the live video feed and if required can do an announcement in case of emergency. Okay, so we have done both ways. So now this is these are the whatever we spoke about. Okay. Uh, we, we, we have also created a block diagram so that you guys know what you can pitch into a school. Now in a school, if you will see this schematic, it is self-explanatory. You have classrooms, you have admin office, you have gym or the, you know, the playing area and the parking lots. Okay. Because parking lot is a lot is an, uh, is an open area. Okay. So here we are showing you, you can put an outdoor horn speaker. Okay. So in the classrooms, you can have a uh, wall mount speakers with a POE watch. We also have a POE watch, okay, which gets embedded so that the teacher also know what time it's going around. So if it is a talkback button, I can put a talkback for economical part. We can have a multicast speakers. Emergency SIP intercom, which I just spoke about two minutes back in a playing area. You can have these SIP emergency intercom. So let's say uh, while playing a basketball, the kid uh, falls and he, he, he hurts himself. And you need to announce, inform it to the nursing station. So, you, you know, you have a SIP emergency intercom. Just press it. It is bidirectional. It goes to the command center of the school. Tells that in this basketball, there is a problem. Okay. Okay. Uh, see, I can see a lot of uh, messages coming up uh, in terms of questions, guys. We will definitely reply. Let me finish up the presentation. And I think my team would be already replying. Uh, so, if there is a question left out, will definitely reply you back. Don't you worry. Manufacturing facility, which we have already shown you, 
uh, I am again putting it on the block diagram. Conference rooms we have, we put in servers. So you, these are the different types of products you can use it. Okay. As I told you, being a manufacturing facility, some areas there is too much of noise, so you can put a SIP notification lights. In the lunch room, you can have a indoor speaker to play music with a clock time to tell that the lunch time is over or not. So depending on the area, you can pitch in the solutions. Okay. If the the hall is big, you can have an amplifier with two speakers on left and right. What we spoke about. Same things. Everything goes goes for the corporates. In the corporates, also in the campus area, we can do something very similar. We can have the meeting rooms, the conference rooms with speakers with clocks. We can have camp parking lots with outdoor speakers. We can have emergency uh, intercoms in case of a periphery boundaries. We can have access controls and door intercoms at the entry area where people can punch in their uh, RF cards to go in or go out. If the attendance is also a part of the package which you are trying to pitch in to the customer. Retail stores, very, very important. See, one of the customer who came in, unfortunately, that tie up went off. We were on the verge of uh, closure, Bharti Walmart, where they have said that we, we release advertisements every day, you know. That today morning there's a let's say 30% discount on uh, if someone buys Van Hoosen shirt or a Louis Philippe shirt. Okay, so so generally you know that if you will see when you go to a shopping mall, there are people there 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 is a local announcement going in that shopping cart. And if the guy is in a good mood, the announcements are done. Otherwise, people don't generally put focus into that. The Walmart said that we want all advertisements to be controlled from Gurgaon. So if we have 20 stores in Pan India, because all are connected on MPLS because they have a centralized building, okay, uh, you can this to uh, anything like for example, Nali Sadi, uh, you know, Nali Sadi is a chain of sadis showroom in India. So some guy has to please come out of his comfortable chair, go to the headquarters of Nali and tell, you know, we can put a Sabadata SIP server in your Nali head office and all your Nali showrooms can have a small speaker which can be a multicast speaker if you don't want to invest one 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 speakers and a pre advertisements or announcements can be done to all showrooms from central place so this, you guys have to think about it you know there are so much of things we guys can do and create a valuation and there is no competition whatever i'm speaking for last 45 50 minutes believe me cyber data is one portfolio which is like a monopolistic item uh, and not only for making money, but also to help a customer to get best of it. You know, there are you will not find such a product with such a good quality, such an application, and interoperable with any of the third party platform, which can be from any PBX vendor. Another another niche, uh, which is the ho hospitals, you know, assisted living, nursing care. Uh, uh, lots of inquiries flow into us from the hospitals. Because they have, they always look forward for paging a doctor, okay, uh, for a specific emergency purposes, okay. So they also wanted to connect their nursing residential area or doctor in house residential areas with the hospitals, okay. They wanted their cafeterias, a multi floor building, okay. Because this is IP paging, they can connect it. And in case of emergency, they said their all lobbies should have a talk back speakers. So if there's an emergency, while the patient is going in or going out and someone wants to make a call they can have an emergency or they can have a talkback speaker okay multiple cases uh, now this was a new concept which was launched by phil recently in webinar i liked it so i just requested him to give me this slide this is like in covid 19 what's happening now or what will happen now you know not generally when you go to us or europe for uh, and you go to a doctor Generally, doctor does not see you on the first shot. So there will be an assistant who will take your history. You know, generally when nowadays also when you go to the doctor, a good doctor in India also, uh, let's say for example, if you go to uh, uh, Dr. Tirehan, he will not come and meet you on the first time. His assistant will come and meet you. He will note down what's your name. Let's say he says Rajesh Mishra. What's your age? Any problems you had? Uh, are you diabetic? Are you blood pressure? He will speak. What's your name? So he will take all those basic inputs, weight, blood pressure. Okay. What type of problem you are facing? And because of this COVID-19, you know, because that assistant is meeting hundreds of patients in a day, they don't want to now talk to them face to face. 
in us it has started in europe it has started now you guys can go to the hospitals you know what we can do is that we 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 have installed this door intercom over here okay which has a video panel button okay once the patient comes in he or she presses this button over here the call goes to the doctor who's sitting either with a pc or with a video phone in the second room which is not the same room and he or she takes for the full history without doing any physical examination once the history is done that history goes to the senior doctor if required otherwise he or she is been told to go from there itself considering it's not a big threat and the medicines can be given on phone only it is lot these things are happening because of covid 19 people want to do less of physical examination so this is one area which i think uh, top doctors and top hospitals will definitely will look for it so i will request my sales team and all of our partners to go to the top hospitals and try start pitching in this solution okay this is again a second thing which uh, is called uh, you know as emergency button so for an example you know you have uh, area which is private ward or semi paying ward where you have multiple patients so you have an emergency button there you just press that button and there will be a pre defined announcement that this call is from uh, private opd or private uh, room or semi paying room number 3 i we will like the nursing nurse to come in here okay so this types of features are also there in where we can give it to the hospitals we can give it to the assisted old old people living facilities okay there are a lot of uh, nursing care uh, facilities are being started in hospitals okay where the kids are staying abroad and their old family members are in india and they wanted them to be surveillance 24 by hours and there should be a small attendant in the house and the total control is been managed by a hospital okay so such things are also coming up in india so we can help them out in that way as well this has started in new york uh, on cyber data platform hospital name is anderson okay i am showing this case study because this has not started in india i hope it starts you know whenever a patient gets discharged for covid 19 there is a english music here comes the sun they played okay so you the depending on the uh, good the baby is born or a patient is getting discharged from a operation of a heart surgery or covid 19 we can play different music we can motivate them we can help them and such things can be done sitting from the desk you know so let's hope uh, such specific requirements do come from india similarly uh, gas stations you know uh, post covid 19 we will see that there will be a lot of announcements which will happen in common service areas which can be gas stations people can be announced not to use mobiles it is possible that self fuel pumps will start soon okay uh, uh, once the electrical vehicles will come in you will have self electrical points in the full city and all those electrical points or self fuel stations would have specific announcements or call back buttons for problems if you are facing while plugging in the electrical supply to your car or putting in the fuel nozzle into your fuel hose in the car you know so such things can be looked into it in and create a different niche okay multiple good case studies we have uh, we did it for dam in uttarakhand indian air force is using cisco communication manager cisco team came to us and they requested us to give a weather proof speakers with the cyber data platform we executed around 75 units over there uh, we have not named it here because the installation is still not on but we have already executed if you guys have heard of highest peak which is kargil leh pertapur and another defense location tanda through a very big system integrator on our platform on cyber data platform okay it has been already supplied pre lockdown and hopefully we will get the installation done soon okay so critical defense which is saving uh, india from so called uh, boundaries is would be sitting are actually sitting on cyber data platform from jammu 
till the highest peak point of Kargil. Bharat Oman Refineries, Defense Research DRDO is on us now. Okay. So we have we have some decent uh, customer base. Uh, without wasting time, I would like you guys to go to the website, understand what we guys do. Okay. This webinar was primarily to give you an idea. What is the new things we guys can do? We all have we all know what is an IP phone. We all know what we can do with it. Okay. So we thought let's let's give them give you guys some innovative ideas to brainstorm. So uh, last not the least, uh, you can speak to our team and thanks a lot for the time you guys gave it to us. And uh, all the six webinars, the catalogs will come down to you by a day or two from our team. I will request everyone who has attended our all webinars to book the demo kits. Is no chance coming back. The special pricing given by our OEMs. So request to book up so that you guys can go and give demos to the customer post COVID-19 and uh, you guys can uh, create a valuation. All our webinars are available on Facebook page of Cohesive. Okay, so you go to Cohesive Technologies, CohesiveGlobal.com website, go to our page, okay, Facebook page and you will find the live webinars there. They, it's there in our YouTube as well. Go to our YouTube and uh, you will find all our webinars. Thank you very much, guys. Let me let me see some questions. If someone has to, this is our WhatsApp number, guys. Keep this number uh, with you. Put it in your contact. Say hi on this number. We we send a lot of updates on this. Okay, a uh, lot of updates. It would be very 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 good for you guys. Yeah. We, we always believe in sharing knowledge base. That's what the USP of Cohesive. And I'm sure with cyber data portfolio, in time to come, we'll do something good together. Okay. So I go back to, uh, I stop my screen first. And I see some questions here. Rajesh, any questions which Rishi, you want me to reply back? Someone asked me what is a multi card. Hmm. Huh? Yeah, someone has asked what is what is the difference between multi card and See, a yeah, multi cast, uh, you know, you are pinging an IP address and you are streaming your audio. Okay, it is a one way direction. So I pick up my IP phone and I just do announcement and go. So your equipment has to be a multi cast receiver. Okay, and uh, you are transmitting through a multi cast transmitter. Okay, in a SIP, the packet request comes from the both side. It gets registered to the PBX. So SIP protocol uh, can be bidirectional. Multicast primarily is one way. Okay. Anything else? How does call button calls to speaker in the classroom? Kiran, the call button is uh, is a relay in is an is a logical input, and because this is a SIP speaker, we have defined in that if there is a relay in coming as a one signal you should dial this extension number because this is a SIP speaker hence it is able to dial that extension and then that extension is a command center okay we the ppds can be shared we will send you a thanks mailer that thanks mailer would be having a video recording and i'm very grateful for all the time you guys have shared and i wish all the best I'm sure this unfortunate pandemic will get over and it will be all normal and we'll do something good together. Thank you very much, friends. Thank you.